If you have ever walked along a certain block of Denver's Lawrence Street, you might have noticed that one of the buildings seems a little out of place. And if you think it looks cool from the ground level, wait until you see inside. Liz Gillardi takes us to the urban farm that helps feed downtown Denver. I'm in awe, and I've been in awe of this building, watching it be built over the last two years. This space feels alive. Alive with all the plants. Here we've got Italian flat leaf parsley. A high tech greenhouse that moves and breathes. All automated. Before we stepped inside Alta's farms. Okay, so at this point you're walking into a controlled environment. We had to rinse our shoes, wash our hands, and put on gloves. Our first stop is at the control center. These panels essentially run the 8,000 square foot building. It really does most of the work for us. Everything from nutrients to the, to the plants to CO2 production. No green thumb needed. The system sends nutrients and water to these towers. You won't find any soil. This is the nutrient system for the plants. Founder and CEO Sally Herbert credits her team. She left corporate America and landed on a board called Veterans to Farmers. Then this idea was born. Sally, a vet herself, is now hiring vets to help grow the business. This farm takes local to an entirely different level. Most of the customers they serve are within a 20 block radius. So when you look at something like the recent romaine lettuce scare, here it's not an issue. We don't have any risk of E. coli in this controlled environment. It's one of the advantages of the of the environment. It's also more efficient. Colorado just saw a record breaking drought, but this system uses 10% of the water that a conventional farm would use while producing 10 times the yield. And the head chef at Uchi says there's a difference. Well, first and foremost, the flavor. This is a kind of an example of one of the lettuces that we use. It's, it's fantastic. All from a greenhouse that's right upstairs. It doesn't get more local than that. Oh, you've got to taste this. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.